Since early in the war, the trucks of the New Zealand Army Service Corps have been a familiar sight on the roads of Korea. Wherever battle has carried them, Kiwi guns have gone too. A New Zealand observation officer with an Australian patrol directs the fire of the guns supporting them. When he sends word back to let up for a while, even gunners welcome a break. And they deserve it. In just over a year, they've fired over 250,000 rounds and earned a great name for dependability and straight shooting. There still has to be a haka no matter where the football's played. But even when the guns aren't firing, the work's still going on. Every hour of 24, there are Kiwis working somewhere in Korea. Clothes get an extra scrub when leave in Tokyo falls due. It's a chance of a lifetime to see the third city of the world and the boys make the most of it. But the contrast between this fine city and the silent ruins of Korea is too strong to be ignored. They remember their shattered buildings and the refugees who live in caves. When the time comes to go back, they know the importance of the job on hand. When their job is finally done, these men and those yet to replace them will be proud to have been Kiwis in Korea. <laughs>